what is up world everybody thank you for clicking this video we're gonna get into episode 13 I'm gonna show you guys exactly where the car is at and what we're headed to do for today you know I'm trying my best to drop these videos every week so for those guys that are rocking with me I want to thank you and thanks for getting me to almost 1500 subscribers that's so dope I really appreciate it and yeah man let me show you what's going on with the build right now Alright, so you guys see it. The motor is in the car. The cherry pick is off to the side. What that means is the motor is officially in there. So that's a huge step. So I'm going to show you guys some things that's going on with the car. Um, this crankshaft pulley was real rusty. It was flaking. I didn't want to spend the money in buying a new one. So I just kind of scuffed it up. And I just went ahead and threw some uh, high temperature paint on there. Gave it about three coats, let it dry overnight. So it looks a lot better. Um, once the radiator support goes back on the car, you're not really gonna see all that. And if you guys see over here, we got the power steering pump mounted. We got the brand new pulley on there. The reservoir up here, um, this hose, when I took the motor out of the other car, I cut the hose because I planned on using the the pump from the coupe but I have misplaced it so I gotta find out where I put this this hose at it should look like this on the end you see how it has this quick disconnect it goes to the power steering cooler and then this pipe right here which is a coolant pipe that runs to the thermostat when we were putting in the motor we broke a bracket right there you see I kind of JB welded it together so it looks like it's gonna hold so we're good on that I got the external oil cooler mounted up right there but we gotta connect the lines you see where I taped it up you just gotta disconnect the old one and connect it like that what else we gotta do so if you guys look over here I probably got to get a light on for you guys. All right, so you guys see this side of the motor. Um, basically, if you watch my other episode where I tried to walnut blast my ports, which was a huge failure, it was like crazy. But I managed to manually cr clean um, three of the ports. So I got to do three more before I put the intake manifold back on. Once I clean those three, I could put the manifold back on. I could put the other half of the wiring harness I could hook up the starter the knock sensors the pressure switch all that good stuff and um, also we got to hook up the ECU but once like I said the wiring harness gets attached then we're ready for the ECU another thing that needs to be done is um, we need to attach the exhaust so if you guys see on the air the exhaust has to be connected um, I'm pretty happy with the alignment because these are aftermarket downpipes so I was kind of nervous that they wouldn't align properly but these are from um, MMP and they line up pretty good the O2 sensors have clearance at first I was like it was looking weird when it was out of the car I was thinking it was gonna hit the trans but it worked out we also have the the clutch line hooked up and I changed that valve so you see that black piece with the two white stripes um, that's actually a delay valve delete the original valve that was in there it used to delay the clutch engagement I guess for ride comfort but I got that part from um, Burger Motorsports and then you guys see the two polyurethane mounts on the transmission so we got the transmission mounted up and we also have the drive shaft the drive shaft is connected so I'm probably gonna cut to a clip of me installing these stuff 
I did that a different day, but I'm gonna put in this episode for you guys. Okay guys, so that is part of the old trans mount, that piece right there. And we got some polyurethane trans mounts, and then we got that bracket. So I'm underneath the car, and uh, we are going to mount that, okay, right there, where that U-shaped piece is at. So one side is flat, and then if you look on the bracket, there's like that little bump, that indentation. So if I flip this over, you see that little cutout right there? So you have to make sure that the trans mounts are facing the correct way. Okay, so we're gonna place the trans mount on there like that. See the little indentation? And you're gonna stick the bolt side through here like so and then there's a washer and there's a nut just put it on loosely actually slide this piece into place but first I need to tighten the drive shaft so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that done so that way I can take these wrenches out the way and then I'll put the trans mount on I got two 18 millimeter wrenches up there right now but I might have to jack up the rear end of the car so that way I could turn the wheels Okay, so I'm going to use this second wrench as leverage. I'm going to just do these by hand tight. Alright, so I got leverage. Alright, do the next one. This is where I have to rotate the shaft to get these to come down on this side. Okay, so I released the brake. Now you see I can rotate this. Keep rotating. Okay, so right there is good. I'm gonna go apply the hand brakes again so that way it doesn't move so I can tighten it. All right, all three bolts for the drive shaft are tight. So now I'm gonna work on the trans mount. So I got four bolts right here. So this one will do. That's a plate right here. See that? I'm gonna put one of these screws in here. Pull that corner. I'm gonna put one in this corner. I'm gonna rotate. Rotate this until that little notch, okay, it's in the notch. And then we got the other mount over here. Needs to go in its little notch. Remember where that stupid notch is. Okay, it's facing that way. Alright, that's in its notch. Where's the bolt? And the bolt on the washer.
So we got one in place. Gotta line the hole up. Alright. Should stop moving. the camera in my mouth. All right, so boom. Now you guys can see the washer and the nut goes on top and the bolt by itself, which I think is odd, goes on the bottom. It does have a mark for a washer, but for some reason, this hardware only came with one washer. Well, it came with two, but one for each bolt. So I'm gonna make sure it's slotted all the way up because it has a slot. So all the way forward. And then we could tighten all this up. And I gotta find one more bolt for this guy over here. So for the torque spec for these guys, transmission cross member to body, 19 Newton meters. So that's what I got it set on. <sighs> I'll take my time. I'm not trying to snap any more bolts, but 19 seems right. Yeah, 19 seems perfect. The tightness. I can feel the feedback in my hand. Second one, third one. Well, you guys get the point. So we're gonna tighten this to 19 Newton meters as well. I already did that side. So I'm gonna show you guys this side. See they're kind of bulging out a little bit now, so they're nice and solid. Um, these are nylon nuts, so I don't think I have to put any Loctite on it, but I could if I wanted to be extra sure. So now that the trans mount is up, I think all the mounts are bolted down. One right here, other one is on top of those down pipes. So let's take the the engine lift off.